before I start, a couple of logistical things. Um, we've got a lot of material to cover today, so I'm going to be um, presenting for the first 50 minutes or so. It may go over a little bit. Um, if you've got questions, um, please hold them to, to the Q&A session at the end um, of this, the, my presentation. Um, you're also welcome to type questions using the, the um, question and answer window, uh, which you get to by clicking this button up here. Um, and um, I'll pause periodi periodically to check the questions list and answer um, any that are relevant to the topic at hand. Um, I, a colleague of mine, Aaron Dobos, will, will be logging on uh, in about 15 minutes or so, and will be helping answer some of those questions um, uh, by typing text. Um, so uh, with that, let's get started. Um, so I, I'm going to start with a quick overview of SAM for those of you who might not be familiar with it. I'm assuming that most of you have, have uh, uh, are at least somewhat familiar with the model. Um, and then I'll introduce the three new technologies that are in SAM, uh, the current version of SAM, Linear Fresnel, Direct Steam Power Tower, and BioPower. Um, and then I will demonstrate four new capabilities. Um, two of them apply to the PV model. Um, and then uh, the P50, P9, uh, P90 analysis is available for, works across all technologies, but really works best for the PV models, or the, at least the solar models. Um, and then the generic system <coughs> uh, uh, is, is a, uh, we've added a, a new capability to use um, hourly or sub-hourly generation profiles that you might have created from, with another model as input to SAM. Um, and then I'll show you a couple of new tools uh, that, that uh, we've added to the model. Um, so SAM, um, as, as most of you know, um, I'm sure, is, is a free software um, that calculates a renewable energy system's um, electrical energy output over one year um, and then calculates the cost of energy based on a cash flow analysis over a multi-year project lifetime. Um, conce conceptually, it's helpful to think of SAM as a two, two models in one. There's a performance model that makes the energy output calculations and a financial model that makes the cash flow calculations. Um, there are many input variables in SAM, um, and so to help you get started, we've populated the input vi uh, variables with default values. Those default values are there to help you get started they're not officially vetted input uh, values by NREL or DOE or anyone else. Um, so keep that in mind. Um, the default values are there to help you get started. It's your responsibility as the analyst to um, review those values and make sure that they're appropriate for your analysis and change the ones that, that you need to to, to, um, to meet your needs. Um, SAM models. Uh, several renewable energy technologies, um, solar, wind, geothermal, and now biomass power. Um, and it models those in a single uh, platform, which facilitates comparing um, analyses across the technologies. Um, the model calculates economic metrics, like LCOE, net present value, payback, um, for projects in, in different markets, as we'll see. Um, and then it calculates a bunch of results and presents the, that data in graphs and tables that you can export um, to use in, uh, in reports and documents. Um, and then there are uh, advanced analyses, analysis um, features that allow you to do things like parametric studies and uncertainty analyses as well. Um, here's a, a, an overview of the technologies and markets that, that SAM can uh, model. So we've got Photovoltaics. We've got four different concentrating solar power technologies. Um, power towers includes two models: one for uh, uh, molten salt towers, and the other for direct steam, which I'll be describing today. Um, and then the linear Fresnel is another new one that I'm introducing. Um, solar water heating is the only model in SAM that that uh, 
is for thermal applications. The rest of these models are all for um, electric power generation systems. Um, although the CSP models do have do model you know thermal energy collected in the solar field, uh, Sam assumes that that's for an electrical power generation application. So the thermal energy is converted to electricity. Um, the key outputs of the performance model uh, are hourly energy production, um, and Sam reports monthly sums and annual sums of the, the hourly values, and then other metrics like capacity factor and efficiency, conversion if it's efficiency. On the financing side of things, um, Sam can model projects for residential, commercial, and utility scale applications. Um, there's basically two types of financial models in Sam. The residential and commercial models uh, are for projects that are on the customer side of a utility uh, meter. And then the utility models um, are for projects that are, you know, power generation projects that are on the utility side of a meter. Um, the residential and commercial projects buy and sell power at retail rates, and the utility uh, projects um, sell power at a price that's negotiated through a power purchase agreement. Um, you know, typically residential and commercial projects tend to be smaller than utility projects, but SAM doesn't really care about the size. You can model as large a residential project as you want or as small a utility project as you want. Um, the installation and operating costs are inputs to the financial model, so you have to provide that data um, as input. And you also provide information about incentives, um, they can be tax credits or payment incentives. Um, and then uh, for the residential and commercial uh, financing options, you provide information about utility rates. Um, and for the utility projects, you provide um, either a target PPA price or a target internal rate of return. Um, the key outputs for the financial models are the levelized cost of electricity, or LCOE, uh, payback, net present value, a multi-year cash flow, um, and, and similar metrics. Um, SAM is developed uh, using funding from the Department of Energy. Uh, most of the development work uh, happens at NREL. Whoops. Um, uh, San Diego National Labs is also a, a partner. Um, <clears throat> let's see if I can figure out how to use PowerPoint here. Um, OK. Uh, SAM is used for. Um, uh, at the project level, for feasibility studies by project developers um, and analysts at the Federal Energy Management Program, for example. So uh, SAM is sort of appropriate for pre-feasibility and feasibility level analysis. Um, it's also used as a benchmark for other models. Um, so this is in a, in a scenario where you may have a project being developed by several partners, and each partner has its own uh, internal models that it's not willing to share. There's, maybe there's proprietary methodologies or proprietary data in those models. Um, so sometimes the project partners will get together and agree to use SAM as a sort of a common decision-making tool and then use their own internal models to generate inputs to provide to SAM. Um, so that's one application of, of SAM. SAM's also used uh, in, at universities and engineering firms for research, um, particularly on the concentrating solar power side of things. Um, the parabolic trough model in SAM is used for plant acceptance testing in some cases. Um, and then the Department of Energy uses SAM to evaluate uh, uh, its um, decisions regarding um, program management. Um, that was actually the original intent of SAM before we, it became a public model. Uh, several people are involved in, in SAM. Um, as you can see, most most based at NREL, um, a couple at Sandia, and and uh, some NREL subcontractors as well. Um, SAM is free software. Uh, you can download it from the SAM website, which is sam.nrel.gov. Uh, to download it, you first have to register. Um, once you've registered with the website, then you can just log in and and uh, download SAM. You can also uh, get uh, support, user support um, on the, the website, um, on the SAM support forum, which I can show you here. 
So this is a searchable forum of questions that, that people have posted, um, and we monitor the support forum daily and, and, and post replies. Um, when, you, when you're when you logged into the website, you go to the downloads page um, to, to download uh, the current version of the software, or you can download previous versions as well. Um, when you register on the website, your name, your email address is added to a mailing list, and we will send you emails um, about twice a year to to announce new versions of the software, and a couple more times a year to announce webinars and events like this one. You can get help, uh, as I mentioned, on the support forum of the website. There's also a built-in help system um, that uh, you can use to find out uh, to get details about um, specific inputs um, in, in, in the interface and, and uh, for instructions on using uh, some of the features in the software. Okay, so that's the end of PowerPoint. I'm going to I'm going to uh, demonstrate uh, <clears throat> the new features directly in the software for the rest of the session. Um, and let's see, we've got a couple questions. Um, one about the default values, um, and we do not, again, the default values are not intended to be, um, you know, to, to say anything about, about NREL's uh, view on what appropriate costs are for system designs and so on. Um, they're just there to help you get started with the analysis. So we don't we don't have a document uh, about the default values in SAM. You can search the NREL uh, publications database. Um, if you just Google NREL publications, uh, there are uh, several publications and you know and uh, analyses of renewable energy project costs that you can use as a reference. Um, when you're choosing your uh, making choosing your assumptions for use in SAM, um, so I would recommend uh, searching the NRL Publications website for information about um, uh, renewable energy costs. Uh, backtracking, we're working on now. It should be back in the next version of SAM. This is for PV. Um, should be in the next version of SAM. Uh, 